Hi guys, welcome to this session in Base Database. What I want to do in this module is quickly go through four of the objects that you can use in a Base Database. So I'm on the new screen and I've got Base Database selected here. I'm just going to double click on it. And then this box comes up and asks you, are you going to create a new database or open an old one? So this is going to be a new one. So I'm just going to go next. And do I want to register this? No, I don't, not for now. And uh, do I want to create tables using table wizard? No, I've got that option anyhow. I'll open the database for editing and then click on finish. Now it's asking me to train this. So I'm going to call this courses, courses, and then save the database where I, I've got it. So now you get the base database on the screen and you've got the main objects down the left hand side. So you've got tables, queries, forms and reports. So tables is where you store your data. Queries are where you interrogate that data. Forms is a mechanism to input data into a table or a query depending on the query type. And then the reports is the output, the management information that you want from your database. So what I want to do in this little session is create a table, interrogate some data with a query, create a report and then generate, create a form should I say, and then generate a report. So first of all, to create a table, you've got some options here, create a table in design view, use the wizard to create a table. So if I use this option first off, what that will give you is some template options. So you've got on the at the moment it's on tasks. If I drop this list down, you can see there's lots of different templates that you can select. If I go for customers, let's have a look at that one. These are the fields that I can have for customers and I can bring them across in any order I want. So customer ID is a identifier and that will be a primary key. Most tables have to have a primary key if you're just using a standalone table you can probably get away without having one but if this table is going to be linked to another table at a later date then you do need one so a customer id i want and then i'll have title surname forename address post town postcode now company name i should have probably brought across and then I'll click on that, I'll bring that up to the top. So company name, and then that'll be like, the, it's easy training, and then that will be Mr. Steve Saxton, and I'll move that one up as well. So if you don't bring them across in the right order, that's not the end of the world. And then I want to bring in a mobile number and county. And again, county needs to be, well, that says country, I'll leave it as it is, I'll leave that. So go next. Now it's coming down this set of steps. Set types and formats. So this is a integer. Now you've got different types in there. All of these are the types of text or number or symbols or yes, no that you can have or date in your database. I'm going to leave this on that. Now most of these are going to default to text which is okay haven't got any number fields in here mobile number would be text you don't need that on a number field and there's no date fields in here it's got a text length and it's got whether this is required or not you've got you've got to be careful if you're putting things to required you might want the information but you might not get the information and then that's going to cause you potentially an issue later on if you don't actually get the information so i'm happy with all the defaults on that one I'll go next now it's saying set a primary key. So automatically add a primary key, create a primary key, use an existing field. So that's what I want to do. And then I need to select it, company ID. So, and then I'm going to tick auto value. So it automatically will incre increment and then next. I now need to name the table. So what do I want to call it? I want to call it customers, but I'm going to put the prefix TBL because that's how you name things in databases, telling people that that's a table. And then you've got options here to insert data immediately, modify, 
or create a form straight away so I'll just leave it on insert data immediately and then click finish and then it'll generate that table so you can see it there you can see it behind there as well so it's just got the company information blank at the moment um, but I'll just fill a few records in and then we'll crack on okay so I've entered some records what we've got at this stage is some features across the top on the toolbar there to sort records if you want to sort them ascending or descending it's up to you you could just click into a particular column so if I want to sort by city or town I can do that and you've got some filter options as well different things there but I want to quickly go and create a query now a query is something that you would need all the time it's information that you want all the time if it's just ad hoc it's probably just a filter you need to do and then you can clear that filter you know so if I click on filter you've got options there so if I go for post town is equal to I'll just go for leads okay it just shows you leads and then you've got this little reset to bring everything else back so those are just ad hocs similar to Excel and calc but if you want a a query a query is really for information that you're going to base a report on and that's going to be part of your management output so that's what I'm going to do next so I'll close that off and go on to the queries objects this is this one so again you've got the wizard and you've got design view so I use the wizard for the table so I'll do this manually so I'm going to create a query in design view so just click on that and you get this screen coming up with the table that you've got there so I'll just add that table and then close this so it's now a case of bringing down the fields from this table that you want to interrogate so if I um, you can double click these down so I'll just do that you can drag and drop and you can select them you don't have to bring them all down but I'm going to bring them all down for this little example if there's a tick on this on this row that means it's going to show when you run the query you've got this little run query little green tick there that you click to check whether this is working or not and then you've got um, function criteria and then lots of ors underneath it so the criteria line is where you need to put your criteria so for example if I just repeat what I did there on the filter if I put leads in there and then run this query it just shows me leads and you get the preview at the top there now if I save this query so I'll save this as um, QRY leads so it's just showing me people from leads click OK and then you can see it sitting there and if I close this down so at the moment there's just two records if I close this down to show you how this works I'll go back to my table and open up customers what I want to do now is just add just bring that onto this screen add another company um, call it arrow ltd limited mr john jones one black street let's say he's from leeds so that's a third record from leeds le11 sd let's make a number up for his phone number and then that is west yorkshire so now I've added a new record so if I run that query now I should get three from leads if I close this down go back to the queries and then just double click on that and then bring the window back onto this screen and you can see that it's picked up that that company arrow limited the third record that's how it works that's how a database works so once you've created a query it will pick up any changes to the source data now if I close that down and have a quick look at a form so form is an input mechanism it's also can be used as a navigational aid but as an input mechanism let's have a create a form in design view or use the wizard to create a form let's go for the wizard again so this time I'm creating the wizard and you get the options there so I've only got one query I don't want it on the query I want it on the table so I'll click on the table and if you're going to use it as an input form you need all the fields so I'm going to take all the fields across and then I'm going next it comes down do I need a subform I haven't got another table so I'm not having a subform so I'm going next 
then it's got this sort of arrangement menu to allow you to arrange your form and if I bring the actual preview of the form onto this screen you can see what it's looking like at the moment if I click on these different options you can see how the the different layouts would sit so I quite like that layout to be honest so I'm going to go for that and then next the form is display all data yes so you've got you've got different options here where you can tick these things on I'm going to leave the defaults as they as they are at the moment I go next and then different styles no possibly no no possibly maybe no definitely not violet you've got to bear in mind that people have got to enter data into these forms so you don't want them too garish probably leave it on that one beige and then next it's asking for a name so this is a form that is looking at the table customers so I'm going to go FRM form looking at the table customers and then finish and then I've got my form so you've got one of seven records you've got some navigation arrows here you can go to the end and then the whole point of this is that this form is what you use to input data into that table so if I click on that little plus I get my blank record so I'll put um, taxes unite that's a firm so the contact is mr i'm just pressing the tab key colin black everybody's black address one red street leads so i've got a query for leads l e two two d f and press tab just make up a number for his phone number and that is in west yorkshire as well so this is the input form so now if i just save that or tab off the record whichever you want to do i'll close that down open the table back to the table customers just bring that onto this screen Taxis Unites now at the bottom. Close that down. Run the query. Click on the query. Run the query. That should have picked up that Taxis Unite because it's Leeds. So it's now gone up to four records from Leeds. All these are from Leeds. That's the query. Now the last object that I want to cover in this little session is reports. And again, you've got the options create a report and design view. That's where you're doing it yourself. But I'm going to use the wizard. So create the wizard and you step through the wizard so it's actually on what i want i don't want it on the table that would be everything but this is just going to be for leads and then you've got the option of bringing these across individually like so so if i let's say i don't want the company id let's say i want the company name and then i want the title uh, forename surname and post town let's go for that and i go next then it's asking me is that how I want it to sit yeah that's okay if I go next do I want any grouping so I want it to group by post town no I don't because it's all leads so it's really I can't really do any grouping they're all different companies so I'll leave it on company name it can group by that just in case there's any additions from the same company sort options I'm not going to change that um, lay layout so we've got tabular so if i just move this out of the way you can see what's happening behind you've got different options to select from here and you get like a little preview of how it's going to sit so i'm going to leave it on tabular and then next it's a report that's looking at the query so it's rpt looking at the query leads and it's a dynamic report so it's not going to be static and then i go finish and then it should generate the report and there you can see it company name and then you've got the information for that company and it drops this into LibreOffice writer as you can see there which I'll just close that off comes back to my database so there's the report there's the form there's the query and there's the table 
So that's how a database works generally, not just um, base. Microsoft Access would be the same and other database packages would be the same. You have objects, you have a table, you have a query that interrogate objects, interrogate a table, and you have forms for input or management, and then you have output, which is the reports. So hopefully this very short video has got you going with LibreOffice Base. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.